Hi planners, it's me Chloe from Chloe Tree Plans and welcome to episode 21 of Coffee with Chloe Tree. If you're new to my channel, this is a series where I do coffee chats and I talk about things that are going on in my life. I give life updates. I also talk about my brand dream plan hustle and what I have going on with that in the planner community. Of course, I talk about the planner community, different things going on, new releases. And of course, I talk about how planning affects my day-to-day -day life. So let's not waste any time and get right into this. If you're driving or you're doing something where you can't pay attention, no worries. You can turn on this video and listen to it like a podcast. But if you're watching and tuned in, thanks so much for watching as well. And let's get into it. Vendetta. All right, so per use today, I have coffee and I also have water because you know you need both, right? So um, coffee, I have this cup from Gold Mine and Cocoa. I don't know if it's still available, but if it is, I'll link it. And my iced coffee recipe for today is, I have the Starbucks iced coffee, like the one that you buy already pre-made. And then I also put in there some iced coffee, like the one that you buy already pre-made. And then I also put in there some almond creamer, vanilla almond creamer. Um, I'll put the pictures here if I have them. And... <laughs> It is non-dairy because I'm really trying my best to live my best non-dairy life. Um, of course, there are exceptions, but I'm trying to make sure that dairy is not a daily uh, of daily consumption for me. So for all my non-dairy peeps, let me know in the comments if you are also non-dairy. And if you are, then go ahead and let me know in the comments like what your coffee recipe is if you drink coffee. Um, let me know, you know what kind of creamers you like. I've heard of oat milk, coconut milk, almond milk. All these different kinds of creamers so let me know in the comments if you have one that you stick by and that you recommend because i definitely am looking for recommendations um i like the one that i use so far but i definitely think it could be better so let me know in the comments what coffee creamer you're using um that's non-dairy and of course i have my water in my swell Erin condren water bottle keeps it super cold so i love this i'll link this in the comments below as well but you'll see me drinking out of both of these because i'm obsessed with how cold this keeps my water especially in these really hot temperatures right now it is july so it's really hot here in chicago and i really enjoy that when i get back in my car there's still ice in here which is cool so even after like 10 plus hours of this sitting in my car it's still cold and i really do like that as well I do not have a sponsor for this episode of Coffee with Chloe Tree because it's been a while since I dropped an episode. But if you would like to sponsor me with a cup of coffee, go ahead and check out the Kofi link in the description below where you can click the link and support me with a cup of coffee. So if you like to support my channel, you enjoy my content, and you like to watch my videos, go ahead and support me with a cup of coffee if you can, and I will really appreciate it. And I'll also shout you out in the next video if you leave your name or your IG handle in the notes on the Kofi website, all right? So getting into what I wanna talk about. One, let's start with the life update, right? It's been a while since I posted a video, and I just wanna kinda update you. On my last video, I talked to you all about my Dream Plan Hustle Workshop and brunch and yes the event actually did happen it was wonderful i'll insert some photos here for you to see the event but it was very beautiful event i appreciate each and every one of you who showed up i'm sure a lot of my subscribers were there and i appreciate you all so much some of you traveled from virginia from puerto rico from different states all over the country and i really appreciate you attending it was a beautiful event nothing but good vibes and i really just enjoyed seeing everyone there um, the brunch was delicious, which, you know, kudos to the folks at the restaurant who, <laughs> who made that, right? It was really, really good. Um, the sponsors were amazing. Shout out to all the sponsors. If you would like to see a full video of the swag bag from the brunch, I will put that link in the cards um, where you can see all of the swag from my event. Um, but yeah, the sponsors were amazing. They made this event possible. And of course, everyone who purchased the ticket also made this event possible. So I want to thank everyone who did that. And so you all being able to support me really means a whole lot. And it looks like everyone had a great time. So if you were at the event, go ahead and let me know in the comments below and tell everyone about your experience and what you enjoyed the most about the Dream Plan Hustle workshop and brunch. It was also really cool seeing everyone in their Dream Plan Hustle tees. I really appreciate everyone who decided to wear theirs because it means so much to me to see folks really um, support my brand. And Dream Plan Hustle for me, I've told you all before, and I'll say it a million times, is really about being able to really plan your dreams no matter how big or small. And, you know, really dig deep and find that energy and time to hustle. And because at the end of the day, we don't want to romanticize hustle culture. 
but it does take a hustle to get things done, right? Whether that's taking your kids to school, getting to work every day or whatever other mundane tasks you have to do, they really are part of the hustle. And so I really like to highlight that and highlight how being able to plan your dreams takes a little bit of hustle, all right? So again, shout out to everyone who came, attended or participated in any kind of way, sponsored the event. I really appreciate you and I am hoping to do another one very soon. So I will definitely keep you all in the loop on that. If you want to be the first to know about my events, go ahead and sign up for my newsletter. It is absolutely free. All you do is you give me your name and your email and I will go ahead and send you emails when I have events, whether they're virtual or in person. This event was not virtual. It did not have a virtual component, but in the future, I hope to be able to bring you more virtual classes and content um, that will be available through my website as well. So I have done a virtual website in the past or a virtual workshop in the past, and I hope to do another one very soon. So Go ahead and sign up for that newsletter. Folks who sign up for the newsletter get the first alert. Then I go ahead and put it on Instagram usually and then YouTube. So make sure you follow me on Instagram because that is how you get it. And my events, each one has sold out. So uh, my virtual event sold out as well as my in-person event. So you definitely want to be on that email list so that you can be notified. I also don't really email you all about much else. Just new releases on the Dream Plan Hustle site, blog posts because they have my journaling challenge as well as events. All right. Now let's go ahead and get into the journaling challenge. I started a journaling challenge in June and you all took off with it. You all reposted it. I had over six 600 views on my blog and so that means a whole lot to me that you all downloaded the journaling challenge and I went ahead and was motivated to do it in July as well so if you're watching this you can definitely do the journaling challenge wherever you're at is for 30 days and it's been really cool doing it I also have several videos here on YouTube showcasing the journaling challenge and I'll put the links in my description of course but if you haven't checked that out already please do it's really cool and it's really short journaling prompts so if you don't feel like you have a lot of time to dedicate to it you can definitely still participate. And of course, if you feel like 30 days is too much, you can challenge yourself to maybe a week of the 30 days or whatever works for you. So definitely check out the journaling challenge that I have. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna try my best to do one for um, August, but we'll see. I definitely wanna make them very general so that if you wanna go back and redo them or if you wanna start from scratch in a different month, you can. So you can really start where you are and you can start the journaling challenge at any point. You all know that when it comes to my channel, I like to add new things to my channel to make them exciting. So in this episode of Coffee with Cloetry, I'm going to go ahead and introduce a new segment um, called Cloetry's Favorites. And so I'm going to throw in my favorite product of the week right now. This video showcases my favorite product of the week, which is the Clear Erin Condren Tote. I am kind of obsessed with it and I really enjoy using it. It's really fun and a cool way to showcase my planning accessories. Of course, with the matching strap on it is really cool. And I just been really enjoying showcasing and pl playing around with all the different combinations and the different colors. Because of course, what's the point in having a matching planner and accessories if you can't show it off? So this is my favorite of the week and I wanted to go ahead and show it to you so that you can see it and check it out. Of course, the link will be in my description below as usual, but I wanted to go ahead and share that with you. So make sure you check that out with the link in my description. Um, but yeah, that is my favorite for this episode. Next, let's talk planner lineup. I really did want to stick to my planner lineup for this year. I did pretty much stick to it. I had a little bit of a change in July. And so if you want to check out my planner lineup, the full video, go ahead and check it out in the cards. I do have a new video up. What I will say about my planner lineup is most of the items I pretty much stuck with. Of course, some of them had a July start, so I had to swap them out and, you know, start a new one. But for the most part, I stuck with my planner lineup for January. So if you want to compare January to July, you can do that. But um, I did definitely pretty much stick to it. The only thing I changed was I did go ahead and add the compact vertical planner from Erin Condren because I wanted to go ahead and try it out and just really see if this layout could work for me in some way. So I definitely went ahead and, you know, tried the new layout and I've liked it so far. I'll probably insert some pictures here just so you can see so far what's going on with the compact vertical. So if you're using that layout, let me know what you think about it in the description below. I like it so far. I haven't figured out my groove with it, but so far I really do like the layout and I think that it's pretty um, functional and also there's a lot of space for different decoration and of course any stickers or washi tape that I want to use. You may have noticed a change. I did change my hair. So I have blonde hair now. Um, this is something that isn't really like new for me. I've had this hairstyle before, the exact same one. But in the pandemic, I did have my, my hairstyle has moved and I had to find a new one and there was that whole thing. So with that being said, um, this is kind of new to y'all, but not new to me. I'm, I'm used to this hairstyle. And so um, it is new though, in the sense of like, 
it's been a couple years since I had it. Like right before the pandemic, I, I changed my hair and I let it grow out. So it's kind of new to y'all, but it's not new to me. I've had this style several times. So um, thank you to everyone who gave me shout outs about it. I really appreciate y'all. You know, as a woman, it can be really challenging um, with, you know, the beauty standards that exist today to feel confident. And so of course, when y'all hype me up, I really do appreciate it. And I want to let y'all know, thank you for that. I've also had some fun experiences in the last week. I definitely want you all to let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more vlog style videos. Videos. I have been posting them on my Instagram but I can also post them here in YouTube shorts and the ones that I have posted so far I will go ahead and link them in the description but let me know what kind of videos you want to see you know as a youtuber and as a content creator it's really important for me to keep things interesting otherwise I kind of get discouraged and bored and I don't want that I always want things to feel fresh and interesting for you all so let me know any you know, videos that you want to see in the comments. It can be planner related, lifestyle related, whatever it is you're interested in, let me know in the comments below. I have been doing a lot of what's in my bag content because I've always been a bag person. I'm obsessed with handbags. I love them so much. I love the luxury ones. I love the non-luxury ones. I just really love a good handbag. And so I've been posting handbag videos. So I'll go ahead and definitely insert one here, but then also make sure you check out my what's in my bag videos on Instagram and here in YouTube shorts. Um, but yeah, I love them. So if you have a certain kind of bag, you'd like to see how I put things in there let me know um I definitely really like doing the bag videos because I have a few of them and I really do enjoy posting what's in my bag I planner content creating in my everyday life I'm still working full-time in higher education I've really been enjoying that working with my students each year is always a good time and I really do enjoy them they motivate me and they bring that creative energy my way so they definitely inspire me to be creative I'm also preparing for a trip with my husband our sixth anniversary is coming up so that's really exciting for us so I'm excited for our sixth wedding anniversary and look forward to celebrating that with some friends and family and of course then getting ready for the school year I know crazy that it's around the corner um but it is happening so gonna be preparing for that very soon as well which it will be exciting to be able to meet new students and get to know them so I'm always excited for a fresh start and that will be really nice too but of course I want to hold on to summer as long as possible because summer is definitely my favorite season and honestly the most enjoyable in Chicago. It's not called the Windy City for no reason and I really do enjoy the nice weather. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what your summer plans have been, what has been your favorite summer plan so far, and if you haven't gone on vacation yet or you plan on doing something fun in the future, let me know what you've enjoyed doing in the comments below. I'll have to do like a summer recap at some point for a Coffee with Coachy episode, but let me know in the comments what's been your favorite summer activity so far, spending time by yourself or with friends and family. Let me know about that. I'd love to see what you all have been up to this summer and catch up with you in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. Of course, check out those links in the comments below and the videos that are in the cards. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a True Blue subscriber, welcome back, and I will see you all in the next video.